Hello class, for today's lesson, we are going to be using chalk pastels. Um, some of them are actual pastels and some of them are chalkboard chalk and sidewalk chalk. All right, so you simply need to start by tracing your hand. All right, so you're gonna use the color and you're just gonna quickly trace around all your fingers. All right, the next thing you're gonna do, you're going to add the bones in the fingers and the hand for the x-ray. So in the fingers, you should probably be able to get about three ovals. So I'm putting three ovals in each finger, but since the thumb is shorter, I'm only gonna do two ovals. All right, the next thing I wanna do, I wanna do the bones that are in the hands. Now I usually start, you see down here where the hand ends and the arm starts. I just start by putting this V and the V aims towards the pinky and towards the thumb because I put a long oval this oval points towards the pinky. This long oval points towards the next finger. So basically, as you can see, I need one oval for each finger. Now we're not gonna worry about this line because when we draw, add in more details, you're not gonna see it. Um, one of the cool things about um, chalk is that it's very forgiving, meaning that you can change things in a way that nobody's going to notice. All right, so here's an oval for the thumb. It almost looks like a little handprint itself because there's one for each finger, one, two, three, four, and one for the thumb. Well, now there's bones in the hands. And here's the beautiful thing about forgiving chalk. I feel like I made this too long, like it's going into the hand too much. So I'm just gonna kinda wipe it out and redo it. All right, so now we wanna put, I'm gonna cover that up with another oval. And I'm gonna do five ovals for the bones in the hand. Just arrange them however you think they look nice. And then for the arm, and my wrist is a little narrow, so we're, or my arm is a little narrow, so I'm going to put this line out here so that I can draw the ovals in. And if your chalk gets a little messy, you could just wipe it off if other colors get on it. Or like, see how I got that orange on it and I want it to stay white? Just wipe it off. All right, one more oval. So I have two bones, two ovals for bones, those long bones in your arm. And you're simply going to fill in really quick to do and you can see now where I kind of had that mess up you really can't tell that's the nice thing about the chalk pastels they are very forgiving forgiving meaning it's easy to hide your mistakes you can see this is really quick filling in all the different um, ovals in your fingers because chalk pastels are pretty wide, so they cover a lot of area quickly. All right, one more, and then we're gonna do my favorite part. So we've got our bones, we've got our um, bones outlined and colored in. Now we're gonna work on this thin outline. To make it look like an x-ray, we want it to look glowy. Um, so the trick is that you've got to put your finger on the pastel and pull out. Now, I'm gonna bring this up close to the camera so you can see that there's just a little swipe of color going out. Well, I want more than a little swipe. 
So I'm actually going to add in and darken this line. That way, when I pull the color out, it's a lot stronger. You're gonna see a lot more of that glowy look. There we go, nice and hazy and glowy. So now my x-ray is starting to glow. And that's simply what you're going to do. You're going to go around all and redraw that outline of the hand. And don't worry, I kind of hit that white a little bit. It's okay, it's not gonna hurt it. If you want, you can redraw that line in and pull a little extra glow out from the hand. So here we go, we're gonna make it really thick. And we're gonna push that glow away from the hand towards the outside. You have to be careful in between the fingers, but you're gonna pull that glow towards the outside of the, the outside edge of the paper. I'm putting a lot of chalk on this one, look at this. It looks so good when it's outlined like that. Ooh, look, I got it all the way to the edge of the paper. It looks really cool. And it's so easy to do. And look, you don't even have to be perfect. Do you see the little kind of where I scribbled and messed up? You're not gonna see that once I pull it out away from the hand and towards the edge of the paper. And if I don't think it's glowing enough, I just keep adding past, ah, there we go. I didn't think it was glowing enough. I added more pastel, got it thicker, because the more you add, the more dust, chalk dust is on your paper. And you can make it glowier. But look on the inside, I can still see the purple paper. We wanna keep whatever color paper you use, we wanna keep um, the chalk, we don't want to smear in the middle area. We want that to be a, a nice contrast. All right, last smears of the glow. And again, I want it glowier than that, so I'm just going to go back over. I mean, you might be like, that's enough glow for me. I'm good, but I like it super glowy. I love doing this. So I am actually going to color over it, add more chalk, so that I can have more chalk to slide across my paper because I just think it looks so cool when it's all glowy like that. All right, and once you are done, take a look. Like I'm looking and I feel like it's pretty even over here. I think it is very thin. So I'm gonna go back over, add some more chalk, pull it out, and I'm happy with that. That is better for me. And you now have a glowy handprint x-ray. Have fun, guys.